Within 24 hours, Kiev could carry out its threat to use force against anti-government protesters occupying buildings in eastern Ukraine. Uh, video coming from the area now showing how serious the interim authorities are. Here uh, you can see certainly a number of armoured vehicles heading towards the restive city of Donetsk. Several locals are reported to have been injured trying to stop the convoy. Uh, we spoke to one eyewitness who saw exactly what happened. At about 2 p.m., we received information that military hardware had arrived at our local train station. We went there and saw APCs, military vehicles and troops. The whole town gathered nearby. The soldiers tried to start moving and the people tried to stop the vehicles. The soldiers twisted the arms of pensioners. There were two young men standing there and they drove right over their feet. I was pulled back by the local miners when I tried to stop the vehicles. They didn't even look at who was in front of them. The men started shouting for them to stop, saying there were girls and women in front of them, but they didn't care. Now, it's not just military hardware. More personnel are being deployed as well. Uh, here is a video of anti-government protesters stopping a bus transporting Ukrainian soldiers to Donetsk. All this adds to concern that an armed storming of the local administration building is imminent, especially given that activists who have occupied it since the weekend say they are not leaving. RT's Maria Fanoshna spoke to some of the people inside to ask exactly what they want. We are now inside what used to be the Donetsk Regional Administration and what has become recently the epicenter of anti-Kiev protests. This is where those who do not recognize the country's new authorities gather and this is from where they declare the creation of Donetsk People's Independent Republic. This republic has its own forces aimed at protecting them. They are masked men that we can see here and there. They're mostly formed from civil volunteers but there are also police and army defectors among them. We defend our motherland from the fascist army that's going to kill us. We are for a referendum for being independent from Kyiv and being with Russia. We can see here and there more of cocktails, for example. People say they will do their best to avoid any violence, but if there is violence against them, they will be forced to use these things. This is after what happened in the original capital of Kharkiv. People say here that they fear the repetition of this scenario. Police there cleared in a very violent way all governmental buildings taken earlier by similar groups of uh, protesters, detaining at least 70 of them. I only have a stick to defend myself. They are coming armed with machine guns and all I had yesterday, for example, was a chair leg. Donetsk is a very large city, it's known as Ukraine industrial capital. Around one million people live here, while the Donetsk region is home to the tenth part of the country's population. And today in this building there are representatives of almost all major cities and towns of this region, mostly mine workers and employees of the region's numerous factories and enterprises, and each region occupies its own floor in this 11-story building. We protest against Kiev's nationalism. We are for social justice. The creation of our republic means drastic changes in the way our territory is organized. We are for equality of languages. We are against the oppression of the majority by the nationalist minority and against threatening ethnic Russians. We don't consider Nazism to be normal. The Donetsk region sends about $470 million to Kyiv and less than $150 million returns. All the mines and enterprises in Donetsk are prosperous. Organizing the referendum over the region's status is among the key goals of the newly declared Republic's authorities. This is what every deputy of People's Council is provided with. The new Republic, Donetsk People's Independent Republic, has its own legal body with both executive and legislation functions. And there are 60 deputies, at least so far, forming this body. And most of them are now gathered behind this door for an emergency session. Within the next month, newly born politicians will have to decide what questions the Donetsk region residents will have to answer at the referendum. Before Ukraine's presidential elections in May, people will want to decide what country they want to live in. Marif Noshnarty from Donetsk, Ukraine.